What's up everybody? We are out here at Ocean Corp and we are going to be doing all kinds of cool stuff this week. Rigging, construction, we're gonna be doing some welding, cutting, all kinds of stuff. But before we get into any of the fun stuff, we gotta learn how to be safe. Gonna go down, y'all shouldn't have any trouble clearing. If you do, what do we do? Come back up. Come up a little bit, try to clear, go back down. Take your time, go down, nice and comfortable. We're gonna give you a little bit to get just acclimated, used to everything. Turn on your free flow, turn it off, drill. Yep, gonna turn your air off. What are you gonna do? Not a bailout check, you just gonna turn it on. How we turn the bailout on? On the side, right? Not in the front, that's your free flow. On the side, backwards, forwards, right? Y'all got it? If you're having trouble, because some of you guys gorilla crank them down and you can't get it, we'll turn your air back on. So someone's gonna be sitting there, ready to turn your air back on. What are our two rules? Don't panic, don't panic and breath. don't hold your breath. We just got our safety briefing. We're about to go over these exercises out on the deck now. Mind you, these guys have to have six weeks of training before this. This is their very first day in. It's a little nervous, but it's going to be good time. We've got six minutes of training. We've got to do it. My name is Wiley. This is Jacob from Georgia. Yep. Today's our first day with the hard hats in the water. We're using Kirby Morgan helmets. Those are the best of the best. We'll be doing bailout checks. We'll be going down to the 12 foot. We'll be doing some drills down there. They're gonna cut our air off. We're gonna have no oxygen, so we'll have to use the bailout. That's the spiel. Volunteer, supervisor, I need first two divers, first two tenders, I need a rack operator and a radio operator. You, Soup, you figure it out. From what we were taught here, we got our supply down back that way with those valves. We got compressors down already drained, filters are already ready to go. We got everything open up to right here to this manifold that's got your main air, your standby, your HP air. Your HP, that's what's got going down to their new mode. Right now we've got a hundred, just under 150 up here in the regulator. We got the valves closed that goes straight to the hats, these umbilicals right here. Until the diver is ready, once the harness is set up, we'll open these valves and we'll make sure that they got so air free This is called flowing. the rack, right? This is called the rack, what yeah, is it's your a manifold. main responsibility as the rack operator? Make sure that all these gauges, everything, there's no leaks. And to make sure that they have air. If they have air. a leak, what do you do? Yeah, we gotta find it, <laughs> we gotta send in a, a standby diver in case there's any emergencies. And we're gonna be cutting their air off purposely today. Purposely today. Uh, like I said, this is our first time diving, so hopefully everybody gets comfortable. Be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Comfortable being uncomfortable, yes sir. Thanks, man. Yep. What was your name? Aaron. My job is running the radio, I'm the comms here, making sure Diver 1 and Diver 2, we can stay in contact with them if anything happens. We got Diver 1 here, Diver 2, we can have them talk to each other, we got the volume speaker on, speaker So they off can one. talk to each other? Oh yeah, they can talk to each other, talk to us, we can cut it off, so we can do all that stuff from right up here. So what happens if comms go down? Well, if one, see if we, we can fix it, if we can't, we have to establish emergency procedure line pools, we can talk through yanking this thing, if we can't. Then we gotta go. So you talk Morse code through the hose? Yeah, one, two, three, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, thanks, man. What's your name? Jacob Penninger. Where are you from? North Carolina. North Carolina. I'm a tender for today. I'll help out the driver. We get set up and everything just to make sure everything goes okay for him. Make the right procedures. You gotta walk the diver in and everything, get his get his uh, equipment ready. I'll guide him in the water, just make sure he doesn't hit his back on, on the when he's diving off. And then uh, just make sure the hostess are good for him, nothing is leaking. Are you nervous about today? Not really. We already got into the water. Um, You're not yeah, worried I'm about sure. your air getting turned off? No, nah, not really. If it does, we have uh, plenty of procedures to go over it, so I think we'll be perfectly fine underwater. And what was your name? Uh, Kevin. Kevin? Where are you from? I'm from here, Houston. Hold it down, man. Thanks. What's your name? Azil Maguer. Where are you from? I'm from here, Houston, Texas. Hell yeah, man. Yes, so you're going to be diving today. You're the first one in the water. Are you nervous about getting in there, get your air cut off? We've already done it over there, our dry on land, having our air cut off. Okay. And at first it is kind of nerve wracking, but once you get used to it and know the procedure, it gets pretty calm. You're getting all your gear set up today, working with the tender, making sure it's all set up. Yeah. Make sure all your lifelines are all together, because yes, sir. if they're not, then bad things can happen. Yes, sir. Y'all got two very important jobs. I'm going to leave you to it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Your job, sir? I'm a supervisor. I thought that was, well, I thought I was, was I, okay. Well, I'm a junior supervisor. <laughs> okay, so oh, you look good. I'm, thanks for coming in today. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, you're gonna be the instructor on deck today. Yes, I was told to, told to catch you off guard. What are you gonna be looking for for all these hands? Are you got a lot of people to be in charge of here? What are you mainly looking for? First of all, number one, everyone stays at their station and does what they're supposed to do. We don't want chaos, right? It needs to be 
controlled chaos. So everyone needs to stay in their stations. We'll rotate through, looking for safety. So double check everything, snoop it all, make sure there's no leaks. Once they get in the water, it's just about comfortability. So how are they feeling in the water? Are they doing well? Are they panicking? If they're panicking, pull them out, right? Everybody gets a little up, a little bit amped, because day one, we're gonna go ahead and do some emergency drills. So they're already thinking, what the hell is gonna happen when they get in the water? So we got a little anxiety, but we try to stress a little bit because it'll keep them focused to make sure they follow procedure. We have a procedure for just about everything. All right, so today you guys are gonna be diving a super light helmet. So it's fiberglass. This one's got a lens for welding. Won't be needing that today. So it's got a regulator. Uh, we have speakers on the inside so you can hear and talk to the people topside. Once we hook up our air, this will be like our AC. So if it starts fogging up or if you get some water in your hat you want to blow out or if you're working real hard, you can turn it on. This side is going to go to your emergency air. You're just going to turn it on and turn it on at the bottle and that'll be your backup, your emergency air. In the event you need, you lose your main air, you got a backup. Lefty Lucy, righty tighty, turn it off. Hard. This is a bailout tank on the back, so in case he loses air, um, he'll turn this on and then turn this on as well and he'll be able to breathe from this until they get that back on. And the pneumo is what he can do. This is the pneumo right here. You can do that to buddy breathe. Let's say he's diving with someone, they lose air, comes up and just you can stick it up in there. Hitch, turn your free flow a little bit. Better? All right, let's put this behind him so we're not pulling on his comm lines. I want you to take your hands, slide your uh, thumbs on your neck, Dan. Make sure it's all the way up. Nope, hold up, right here. All right, locked in, check both pins. We're good. See, we got it nice and uh, looped, so it just locks right in. We're gonna check both pins. Safety's good, safety's good. All right, you're gonna call for a bailout check. Nope. Bailout check. All right, so we're gonna cut his air. All right, going bailout on the side. You got air, we're good. All right, tell him bailout's good. All right, main's back on. Check your free flow. Good. Secured your bailout. We're good. You ready to go? All right. Do a snoop check anywhere you got your air connected. So we want this going behind. Come and tell him to come up. Come up. Diver doesn't go down until tender gives them clearance. Throw up behind him. Give bite all the way down to the water line. Two pats. Good. All right. Then you come over. He's got it, you tend his hose. Diver one and diver two, are you guys ready? Yeah, ready. Diver one, stand by to go on bailout. All right, kill diver one's air. Diver one's air is all okay. So when we cut it off like this, it's gonna go down a little bit harder to breathe, a little bit harder, start getting water in. So once you figure it out, Gun belt. Divers on bailout. Divers on bailout, Divers on bailout guys. Diver one's on bailout. Main's back on. Tub diver, main's back on, secure Diver's bailout. Main's back on, secure the bailout. All right, now we've seen how it's done. It's time to do it. Let's get to it. Diver two, you on bottom? Diver on bottom. Diver 1, you ready for a bailout check? You betcha. He's ready. Diver 1, you ready for a bailout check? Diver 1, main air's off. Bailout on. I'm on bailout. Diver 1, stand by. Main back on for Diver 1. Diver air, main air's back on. All right. Diver 2, you ready for a bailout? Yes, sir. Diver 2, your main air's off. Main air's off, baby! Main air's back on, Diver 2. 
Diver 2, mains bumping back on. Okay. Bail down. Diver 2, your bailout secured. Bailout check kick. Diver 1 and Diver 2, breathe off your pneumos. Diver 1, Diver 2, let us know when you're breathing off the pneumos. I'm on my pneumo. Diver 1, give Diver 2 your pneumo. Get yourself. Yeah, get yourself. Diver 2, you breathing off it? Yes, sir. It's all good. Diver 2, mains back on. Diver 1, Diver 2, here's your two-minute warning. Come back up in two minutes. You were on my comms? Yes, sir. Where are you from, Jacob? Georgia. 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 And you were on my air, right? Yeah, I'm on your air. You had me, you had Bo and I's Bo lives. Yes, I did. Yeah. And I, I took good care of y'all, right? What was your name? Dion. Dion. Where are you from, Dion? From Fort Worth. Fort Worth, man. Well, thanks, guys. If it wasn't for the good communication and the clean air, yeah. me and Bo would be toast. Now, I feel a little bit more trained up. I feel a little bit safer. I do, too. Now, we can continue this series here at Ocean Corp. We're going to learn more about the commercial diving industry, a little bit of rigging, a little bit of this and that. And don't you worry, guys. We're going to get to that welding stuff. Yeah eventually pay our dues just like any other underwater commercial welder we'll see you on the next one